Desolation squads definitely made a big splash in the Wonder community when they first came out because they look dumb, like they've got t-shirt cannons or just carrying giant nerf guns. But not only did the casual players or the more narrative gamers not like them because they look dumb, competitive players pretty much looked past them because they were probably too many points to put into a list They're a little bit expensive compared to a lot of other space marine units well it turns out someone's been gaslighting us probably the competitive players because <laughs> people have not only gone out and bought some that looks like they're actually going to be running 20 or more in one list you know how i went second at a tournament and i took one squad of five desolation marines and i was like you know what five is probably fine everyone said that they hated them they'd never buy them Okay, but I think they're quite good. I like a unit of five. They're 185 points with the Venga launcher. These are really good in the meta because you've got the out of line of sight shooting, which is nice. It picks up like light, cheap objective grabbers. And you've got the Venga launcher, which does the same as well. Um, that's a little bit better. It's damage two rather than damage one. And more shots. It's D6 rather than D3. But also you've got all the super crack or super frag. Now, no one's running super frag. Arguably on paper, it looks quite good. But super crack at strength eight minus four D3 plus three damage for four of them. And then obviously having the Venga launcher on the sergeant. Really, really nice. It's pretty good. But this weekend, some f bad man, previous winner of the LGT, is taking 25 of the <laughs> His list is the Venga bus is coming and everybody's jumping New York to San Francisco. Tell me you're an Imperial Fist player without telling me you're an Imperial Fist player. He has Azriel, the Primaris one, uh, Lieutenant in Reaver Armor with Lord of Deceit for redeploy, I believe that is Lord of Deceit, to an Incursor squad, an Infiltrator squad, a Blade Guard Ancient with a Pennant of Remembrance and Rites of War. No idea what Pennant of Remembrance is, but Rites of War is an object if secured uh, aura of a wall of trade. a unit of 10 deathwing terminators arguably with potentially illegal loadout still not sure everyone seems to be running it so we'll move on 10 deathwing terminators with thunder hammers and two cyclone missile launchers a ravenwing apothecary with reliquary of the pennant repentant whatever that is and then 10 desolation marines 10 desolation marines and a desolation five squad excuse me what and a whirlwind scorpius excuse me 25 malik what's wrong with you Malik, why are you high? Are you high? have you been taking some drugs to dance better? You're an excellent dancer, but this isn't this isn't time to dance. <laughs> this is just wild. Twenty five desolation marines, nine hundred and five points in desolation marines. Twenty five intercessors, nine hundred and five points. Mate, I'm so good at maths. It's 805, isn't it? I thought the, I thought five was fine. Ten is kind of toppy. The arcane doesn't get put on two when remains stationary. Yeah, but they they need to move because there's only ten Deathwing to do to do anything. You got ten Deathwing to take the board. You've got these which are gonna die. <laughs> you got Desolation Marines. I see. You can't not move. You've got to move. Now they near Azriel. Azriel obviously gives out a four plus invulnerable save, which makes them quite survivable. Um, obviously, the Deathwing Terminators are the, the problem in the list. They're going to walk forward. They're 330 points. They're going to walk forward, sit an objective, and never die because they're so cheap. We just keep firing missile launchers. 25? Bit of a meme list. Bit of a meme list. Got a lot of love from Alex. Great guy. But he's not the only one. Mr. Chima is also running. <laughs> Dark Angels. Uh, Primaris Captain with a Relic Shield. Talon Master Type 2, one with Rights of War to give out objectives secured, one with Arbiter's Gaze. Again, I'm not sure, 100% sure of all the names. We got Pennant Remembrance, so again, minus what to wound, did we say? It's Deathwing Terminators, Deathwing Terminators, two Land Speeders, and then 20 Desolation Marines. Like, bro, bro, why is everyone suddenly Desolation Squads? Now, this one doesn't have Azriel, but it does have a Captain for reroll ones. Azriel, obviously, is a chapter master, so you give full rerolls to hit to a unit. Desolation Squads are popping up everywhere. Absolutely. I told you they were God. I told you. Okay. <laughs> now, there is an Iron Hands list that I thought was quite interesting. Uh, it's basically mine. And I say that, but the problem is, is mine is quite... Not generic, but it's kind of like the best way to run him. Brian is running Iron Hands, and I really like the look of it, actually. it's I'm kind of tempted to run it myself. I'm not 100% sure. But essentially, it's it's a pretty much the same list as I run. So it's Primary Set Marine, Primary Lieutenant, two Infiltrators, 10 Vanguard. Now, the Vanguard is slightly low. The loadout is slightly different. It's got uh, five Storm Shields. Well, I've only got two. And four lightning claws and chainsaws. Again, I'd swap this for pistols, mate, but that's fine. Two two scout squads. 
Relic Contemptor, all the same. Lance Media Tornado, all the same. Two Devastator squads. Now, one has three Grav Cannons rather than two. He's got Eradicators. But then he's got two units of five Desolation squads. I've got one unit of five. And the only difference of this list is I have a Gladiator and four Servitors instead of that second Desolation squad. I think this arguably might be better. I'm not 100% sure. I love the Gladiator. I think the Gladiator is great. But this could be an interesting, like, slight slight list tweak. This arguably could be a little bit better. It's got a few more Storm Shields, which is nice. We like Storm Shields. They're pretty good. They keep stuff alive for longer. But otherwise, it's just swapping the Gladiator for another Desolation Squad. Gladiator and the, the Servitors. Now, I only have Servitors in my list purely because I don't have anything to spend 30 points on unless I want to put Storm Shields in everybody, which arguably could do. But Servitors are nice because they're good for, like, missions like Data Scry Salvage. For like doing the action on the home objective and then everything else can do what they want because obviously if you're doing an action it turns off your abilities you can't shoot you can't fight so what the servitors do is kind of freeze up that unit they're good for backline screening in the gc the cult this cult matchup because you can have like your infiltrators at 12 inches then they can appear next to it and then you can have the units you actually care about and they can just help with screening as well. They don't really do anything else otherwise. I love Brian's list. Uh, so I really hope Brian does well with it. Because I think it could be what I do. But I like the Gladiator. It has <laughs> like 40 shots. It's dumb. It's so dumb. 150 points. Moves 10. Toughness 8. 12 wounds. 3 up save. It's got an Iron Hail Heavy Stubber. 4 shots. Heavy. Icarus Rocket Pod. D3 shots. Strength 7. Heavy. It's got two Tempest Bolters, which are rapid fire four each, <laughs> which is very dumb. So each uh, bank of guns on the side of the turret, the tank, are four shots, or within 15, they're eight shots each. That's 16 shots. And then it's obviously got the twin heavy onslaught Gatling Cannon, which is heavy 24, strength six minus two, because you're going to be in the heavy doctrine. So I like them, but swapping that out for another Desolation Squad isn't crazy i think that's quite an interesting change i quite like it i'm just not sure because what the gladiator <laughs> look <laughs> i didn't deploy the gladiator once i put it in strategic reserve every game and that came in so clutch dropping a tank on the side of the board with five million shots is so so good it is so so good i really like it i think it's sick but another desolation squad you can deploy them behind walls you could have got another way to scoop out units that are gonna be holding objectives hiding behind walls like kasakin mortars stuff like that you can really pick up with desolation marines and not a, not a lot else can do that because not no there's except for desolation squads and mortars no one's really running out of line like shooting but to have two units it's really interesting you don't you probably win the matchup of a mirror match if you one person's got five and the other person's got ten obviously you've got twice as many so you're more likely to pick up that other unit if you've got like 20 versus 10 may as well just take them all off the board <laughs> Shame they look like poop. I mean, yeah. There's also the Relic. Now, if I had CP, I'd do it, but Master Crafted. So you can make the Venga Launcher Sergeant damage three, which is very fun. Very, very fun. Give a model this Relic. Select one weapon that is equipped with. It cannot be one that has Master Crafted in already. Plus one damage, which is really good. And then there is a stratagem. It's called Sign of the Forge in Iron Hands, particularly. Use this stratagem before the battle. Select one Iron Hands model from your hand that has the word Sergeant in their profile. So, Desolation Sergeant. Uh, that model can have one of the following, especially a War Gear Relics, even though they're not a character. Mastercraft a weapon, plus one damage. Or they can take all, some other stuff, which you just never bother with. No one really cares. Or Haywire Bolts, if you really want to. So, you can make three damage Vengal Launcher, which is quite interesting. I think that's what Manny's done with his Dark Angels. He's got the big unit of 10 as the as Master Crafted, which I quite like. Three damage is good. It means you can start picking up Terminators if they start failing some saves with your little piddly Vengal Bus Launcher, which is quite fun.